feel like I'm in like a studio right now. See, that entire side of the room is completely dark, but I have this like lamp that's shined right on my face. It's, it's actually really bright, like, my cheeks look really like rosy red. All right, well anyways, I'm gonna kind of tell you guys like a story from last night, you know, last night was Halloween, and a lot of stuff tends to happen on Halloween. But first of all, I wanna show you just a few things from earlier in the night, probably around like 7.30 or 8, when it just got dark. Well, it, got, it gets dark at like 7, and there, there were trick-or-treaters going out. And we attempted to do like a scare prank video, and it just it just didn't go well at all. We, we, we couldn't get any good footage or anything, but I'll show you what I God. Let's take a look. So here we are setting up. We were hiding the GoPro in some plants just outside the front of the house and Max is dressed up in this like he put a cape over the front of his body and so it wouldn't show the legs and he had this creepy skeleton mask and he was just gonna scare people and he had a bucket of candy right on his lap. Oh, oh yes it is. Ah! And so Danny, Tyler, and I were sitting in the car with my other camera filming just from another perspective. Ah! Trick, though. Oh, he's got a, yeah, go he's got a GoPro in the bushes. Oh, they're honking the horn. Go on, honk it. See, they scare people like that. We know you're real. I see you moving. You're not scaring us, dude. Yeah, what you talking about? You didn't scare us. Then why did you scream? You scared me. I didn't scream. She's scared. Why are you doing that? We're not that? scared. <laughs> I'm going to go on the move. Yeah, it was it was it was pretty lame. And it was still early on in the night. It was still probably 8:30 when we stopped, but we just I don't know, we just weren't feeling it. There were other things going on, so we just decided to like eh we're just gonna be done with this. And there was a party going on not too far away. It was probably 20 minutes away, people from a bunch of different schools. So we went and checked it out. It started, I don't know when it started, but it was supposed to go till 11 and then there was a party bus that was gonna pick people up and then end at like three in the morning. So we went to the party and about an hour after the party, or an hour after we had gotten to the party, it got shut down. And the reason was some kids walked outside the building and started smoking and someone must have like noticed that was like living kind of nearby or something or smelled it, I don't know. And they called the cops. So the cops came and they basically just shut it down. And at that point, we're just sitting there, we're like, damn, that's so dumb. Like, I mean, the party was pretty fun. So we, we obviously wanted to stay, but it just, we, we couldn't so the party bus was still on though. They didn't like nothing happened with that So the party bus came probably 30 minutes later something like that and we were thinking about getting on and it was only like 10 15 10 30 so the party bus was gonna go from like 10 30 all the way until 3 in the morning and the thing is we were gonna think about we were thinking about getting on but there were so m it was a like the people who got on the party bus there were a lot more guys than girls and it would just been it would have been kind of dumb and the thing is if you got on at whatever time it was like 10 30 you couldn't get off until three o'clock in the morning you had to stay on the entire four hours something like that it just it just wouldn't have been fun at all. And apparently some girls were like throwing up on the bus, so oh yeah, that would have been a great time. So yeah, we made the right decision of not going on the bus, I don't, I don't think it would have been fun. But since it was so early, there were so many other things to be done because, I mean, it's Halloween, there's obviously a bunch of other stuff going on, so we found out about another party, like it was, it was a little further away, it was probably 30 minutes away from our houses, which I don't know how far away it was from the previous party, but we drove back to our hometown and then we were thinking about going to the other party until we actually heard about something. So I was with Max and Danny. Prior to that, I was with, we were with Tyler also, which you probably remember him from my videos. But we were with Max. It was Max and Danny and I, and we were, Max was talking to this one girl who actually went to the party that we were going to go to after the other one got shut down. Hopefully, that's not too confusing. And she, we called her, or she called us, or something. And she said someone got shot at the party. Right from the get-go, we were we were thinking about it was this was probably 30 minutes after we'd gotten back to our hometown, maybe even longer. So we had enough time to go home. We actually had to drop people off. That's why we went all the way back to our hometown. And we had, we dropped them off, and we could have gone to the, straight to the party, like in in less than the time that we got the call that someone had gotten shot. So we could have been there when that happened. I'm just so glad we didn't because that would have just been bad. Like, I I don't know, it was so random. I didn't expect that to happen at all. It was just a 
This is a high school party. Why does someone have to bring a gun to it? Like, what is wrong with you? And I guess the person only got shot in the leg, so they're fine. They're not dead or anything. But it that obviously that party ended. No, like everyone just left really quickly. But after that, we didn't really have much to do. So Danny ended up taking his car and going home. And then we, Max and I went back to my house at like, what time? I don't know, 11.30, 11.45. And it, this is already like four hours into darkness, which is, it doesn't seem very late. Obviously like 11.30, 11.45, that's not that late. That's, it really isn't. But since it's like getting closer to just like the whole colder weather thing, the, the sun goes down a lot earlier. So there already was a lot of night and we were already getting tired because the party that we were at, there was just so, it was so hot. There was a couple hundred people probably and maybe, maybe, and eh, maybe not a couple, I don't know, it was probably a couple hundred. And it was just so hot in there, so we just, I don't know, it, it really wore us down. And Max actually had to get up for basketball in the morning, so he decided to go home at probably midnight. And at, actually, this morning, like, this was last night, and this morning, he at his, one of his games, I think he had two games, I think so? Maybe, maybe one, maybe two, I'm not sure. And he took a charge in basketball, and he fell to the ground, obviously he just got pushed over, and someone landed on top of him and cut him, like right there. I don't know which eyebrow it was, but it's like right next to his eyebrow, and there's a big cut. Like, it, I'll, I'll put a, why not, I'll just put a picture on the screen. And so he had to go to the ER, he called me, and he's like, yeah, so uh, Casey, I'm in the ER, I got cut in basketball. I'm like, what? Like, he said there was a lot of blood and everything, and it's, I don't know, I mean, he's fine though, it's, it's all good. But yeah, at midnight, so he left. And there wasn't too much more to the night, I was, I was getting ready for bed, and by now it was probably 12.15. And I was actually, I was talking to Anya, I was texting her, and I said I was gonna go to bed. But then she's like, no, just come over, don't go to bed yet. So I went over, she had like five, four friends over? I think she had four friends over, and we just played Cards Against Humanity and just hung out for a bit. And then I ended up going home at probably 1.30, maybe 1.45, I don't know. And then I went home, actually no, I technically left at like 2.30, or 2.45, but Daylight Savings switched it back, so I was there for a couple hours. I completely forgot about that. We got an extra hour of sleep last night, woo! But yeah, I ended up going home. I just watched how, some How I Met Your Mother, got some food, because I hadn't eaten since like six o'clock, something around that. I don't know, it was a lot earlier. And then I just went to bed. I fell asleep, got up at probably nine, nine, maybe nine, maybe a little bit later, maybe maybe a little closer to 10. Then I worked out, came back, procrastinated a lot, and now I'm making the video. But anyways, I hope you did enjoy this. You know, it's always fun telling stories because you get to know a little bit more about me and they're, I don't know, they're just fun to tell. And also thank you so much for the amazing support on the interviewing uh, FaZe Clan video. That was, that was really weird to make. I didn't think it was gonna do that great, but it, I mean, it ended up getting almost 8,000 likes, which is pretty crazy because I usually don't get that many likes, but it was awesome, and I will be making another. <laughs> My mom just texted me saying the leaf piles aren't gonna move themselves. I have to go, have to go move some leaves in the back because all the leaves are falling. But anyways, I'm gonna go do that. And as always, I hope you're all having a nice day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.